Hello everyone, Renee here. I am going to do another pick a card reading, and this reading is all about the dark side. It's all about what's really going on. I am not a doctor of any kind, and this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm gonna give that disclaimer. I have some of the darker deep dive decks that I kind of want to showcase this month, being the month of Halloween. And we're gonna end this reading with some Angel Whispers messages. So we have three cards here. Which one do you feel drawn to at this time? And in this reading, it might be the one that scares you the most or the one that you are unattracted to. So whichever card is kind of making you feel a little bit uncomfortable, I would say choose that one and see how it goes. Is it one, two, or three? You can look below the timestamps once you've made up your mind and fast forward to your reading. As always, thanks for watching. Hello group one, if you chose the first card, this is your reading. So let's see one of the main problems or challenges for you right now. So for you, we have hiding your true self, number 14, and it's pretty easy and crystal clear what the card's all about hiding your true self in some way, shape, or form. And it's gonna mean something different to all of you. I am not gonna get into specifics, but you know what it is if you're watching this and this makes sense to you. Let's move that over just a hair. Then you know what that is, you know? What are you hiding from the world? What is your true self? Why do you hide it from the world? Let's see what else we got from a different deck. And this deck, I'm going to read just the key words that are in the booklet for you. So for you, we have Clown of Crossroads. So let's take a look in the booklet and I will tell you what this means. Opportunity is upon you. Though it may seem like a farewell to what you've known, this chance is a crossroad, a time when you can go left or right. You cannot continue with everything as it has been, and this means that something will have to be released for something else to be gained. It's time for you to take your chances and make a choice. All right, group one, take your chances and make a choice. So let's draw from a different deck and see what else I can tell you. What else does group one need to know? So for you, we have fair, brown, and trembling gifts. I feel that this is talking about your gifts and that which you maybe hide from the world. Your talents that you might hide from the world. I don't feel it's literal gifts getting presents. I feel like it's gifts and talents that you might hide from the world. All right, let's spread these out just a tad. Cause I'm gonna draw from one more deck here before we get into the tarot. We have Full Moon and Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches, group one. The end of a tough, tough cycle approaches, so be prepared for it, right? Be prepared to have to make this tough choice because you are at a crossroads. And most of you probably know that you are and you have to make this tough choice and you've been putting it off for whatever reason. But once you make the choice, it's like ripping the band-aid off, then you can move forward, right? Because you have to be your true self. There's something you're hiding from the world. And I don't mean it's something terrible or awful. I just mean a part of you or a facet of yourself that you've been uncomfortable sharing with the world. It might be your spiritual belief system. It might be your... Um, your morals, your values, it could be a multitude of things. 
Let's see what we get with the tarot. What's going on with this challenge, with this thing? So we're going into the present, not the future yet. I just want to get a handle on what's going on with you. Okay. So what I'm getting from these cards as far as like telling a story about a challenge, I feel that definitely um, someone caused you a lot of pain, made you feel foolish, broken heart. Yeah, oh my gosh. And I feel like you went off alone, you went off on your own. But you had to, because it was a bad situation, it was a bad relationship, right? It was, it was time to go off on your own. But now, this is where you're at. You're in the Eight of Swords. You're in a self-created type of prison in some aspect of your life. And I do feel like for most of you, it's because of some kind of relationship problem or interaction that you've had in the past. That was negative, obviously, which, you know, would include some type of abuse, verbal or otherwise. Yeah. You felt like this relationship or this person was the world to you. But they lied. They deceived you. They lied is what I'm getting. They did you wrong. They did you wrong. Maybe the crossroads you're at right now is, should I stay or should I go? Okay. And for many of you, you know, I think you know what you need to do. Come up with a plan. Let's see what else I can get. This is, yeah, just validation that there's too much conflict here. There's too much conflict in this relationship. I just don't know if it's going to improve because I don't think they see your true self. I feel like maybe they are controlling. I feel that they might not appreciate your gifts. So for you, group one, Yes, it has to do with the self, but I do feel like there was an outside party, let's say, involved in this issue for you, okay? There was someone else who kind of fueled your own insecurities and doubts about yourself, and that makes me really sad. You are wonderful and awesome. Whatever your true self is, you are wonderful, unique, and awesome, and you are loved beyond measure. You need to know that. You have a spiritual posse around you. But, yeah, it's time to go. That's what I was asking. There's movement here. The end of a tough cycle. It's time to go. It's time to move on. For some of you, it's a family member. For some of you, it's a friend. For some of you, it's a romantic partner. Okay. For a few of you, it's a battle going on inside of yourself. There's loving yourself, hating yourself, the devil, the lovers. I love myself, I hate myself, a love-hate relationship within you. Um, because of having feeling like you have to hide your true self. Maybe because of, you know, family values that were passed down, religion, organized religion, or beliefs, or the fear of being ostracized, whatever it might be you know you're at a crossroads because you feel in your soul that you have to change something, okay? Something has to give. Something has to change. I'm going to draw another Moonology card for you, Group 1. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Those dreams are part of your gifts. Your dreams can come true. Okay, they can come true. But you have to stop judging yourself and feeling harshly judged by others because honestly, it could be a situation where you're kind of, you know, very sensitive or an empath 
um, compassionate and there was someone who was maybe a little bit narcissistic or selfish who just I, I'm seeing a scene in my head which is kind of how I read where someone's like snuffing out the flame of a candle so they're like snuffing out your flame your special vibrant light someone snuffed it someone put it out so that someone is probably not good for you okay let's pull a message from angel whispers cards it says the time is right have faith your desire is about to come to fruition group one crossroads you're at a crossroads you need to make this choice it is time for action okay it's time for action and i would add that you are special you are wonderful unique and loved your gifts need to shine so that the whole world can see them all right group one don't hide your true self anymore it's time to break free let your freak flag fly hope this helped you bye Hello group two, if you chose the second card, this is your reading. So let's see what is possibly an issue with you or a challenge for you right now. Alone in the world, feeling alone in the world, feeling lonely, maybe even anxious or depressed or a mixture of all three. Okay, let's see what else I can tell you. What else we get from a different deck? And with this deck, I'm going to read just the initial paragraph in the meanings section of the booklet. What else does group two need to know? What else is going on? Okay, so for you, we have Duke of Shadows. That's number 14. So we're going to look that up in the booklet. Number 14. So we have Duke of Shadows. Cunningly clever am I, helping you discern the truth from the lie. I remind you that half-truths may seem to be whole, yet in the shadows is information yet to be known. When the time is right, the light shall be bright, and confusion will give way to understanding. Discerning the truth from the lie. Okay. It's an invitation, <clears throat> excuse me, for patience. And it's also a cautionary card. So it's saying that move forward with caution, okay? Move forward with caution. So something is being hidden. Maybe you are having some kind of problem that's more dangerous to you or you know detrimental to your health then you're letting on to friends or family that's what i'm getting psychically for some of you like it's not just you're feeling alone in the world maybe literally you are depressed like clinically depressed so please please seek out some help therapy there's um an online program i think it's called betterhelp.com but also throughout through your own insurance or medical professionals you can maybe find someone to talk to as well let's see what else we get here for you group two we have for you fairies words words so when I get this card it means usually that the person is having trouble expressing him or herself and they're not getting their emotions out in a healthy way and i always think of that as well because the border here is turquoise which is the color of the throat chakra which is all about getting emotions out in a healthy way okay so there's something you need to speak about speak out about or write about or get out in order to help you heal and again, I'm not a professional in the medical areas or medical field. Um, this is just a general reading. Let's see what else we get for you, group two. 
step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Yeah. So the South Node is that which we've mastered. The North Node is that which we are trying to master, right? That's the direction we're going. We're going North. So I feel that because you got that card, it means that you're stuck, okay? So perhaps you're stuck feeling alone. You're stuck in this place, feeling alone, not being able to socialize or connect with others, um, just being generally depressed or anxious, anything like that. There's a sense of being trapped in the old with you as well, okay? So all the more reason for you to speak to someone or get emotions out in a healthy way or write everything out what you're feeling and thinking. And that might help. Just seeing what you're feeling and thinking on paper. Looking at it, you know, writing it out, writing it down, and looking at it on a day when you're feeling really good. And being aware of what's going on when you have a bad day, right? So let's see what we get with the tarot cards. And what I'm doing with the cards here is just looking at the now. We're not really looking at the future quite yet. I just want to get a sense of what's going on with some of you or most of you. We'll see. So definitely, I do this reading. It's called Inside, Outside, Upside Down. And that's kind of what I was thinking when I was doing this. But I was thinking this is all the outside. Like this is what you show the world. You show the world you've got it all together. You're doing your work. You're being creative. Um, you're reaching out to people, but maybe at a surface level, you're not really letting people in. I think that's why we've got the strength card. Now, some of you might be a fire sign Pisces. I mean, I'm sorry, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or this could be someone who's close to you or a therapist or a medical professional um, who you can reach out to and trust is what I'm getting. Okay, and it might be a female, it doesn't have to be a male. And we also have a queen here too, queen of coins. So what I'm getting with that is that you need the strength and the bravery to reach out to talk to people about this, okay? Um, wow, look at all these. I mean, if you do the work, group two, you're gonna be just fine. If you do the work, yeah, and as I said that, we have like a work apprenticeship card. But this can also mean working with other people and getting assistance or getting direction, right? So if you work with other people, if you use your words, if you get this out, if you step out of the shadows, if you get to the truth of the matter, you may not feel so alone in the world, okay? You may not feel so alone in the world. We have two aces here for you as well. Emotions, emotions and nostalgia okay so what i'm getting with these three the nostalgia card nine of wands and the moon is there's some maybe you've always been a little bit um introverted perhaps or something like that maybe you've always been like that since you were little um and maybe it leans towards something a bit more serious such as depression right and again I'm not a doctor but maybe it's just escalated with what's going on in the world with COVID lockdowns mandates all of that stuff and I feel like you've been holding it in and trying to be strong and showing a strong side to the world but what is hidden is that maybe things are a little more serious than what you're letting on but know that there are people here who love you, who want to help you. And these could be family members too, or friends. We have fire energy and we have earth energy as well, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or one of these could be you saying you need to look to this other person to get emotions at, out and heal this or um, recover or improve or whatever the situation is for you. But definitely whatever this is, this is fixable and I feel that it will be fixed and yeah you will feel strong again and you will feel happy and emotionally balanced like the queen of cups okay that's what's happening but it could be something that maybe you know maybe you've suffered from the blues or melancholy 
as they used to call it, um, since you were young. And it just got worse during COVID, you know? And it's okay to reach out to get help. It's really okay. Um, get a third party involved if you don't want to tell a friend or family member. Just get a therapist. Go to betterhelp.com or some other, um, you know, way. There's other ways to reach out. Let's see what else I can tell you. Let's draw one of more of the Moonology cards. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. I love that. So I feel like that's action and energy, especially with this Knight of Swords. A lot of action and energy for you. You're on your way to this and this is what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling. Um, but it will take a little bit of work and it will take you using your voice, getting that out. Um, also, yeah, coming out of the shadows, getting to the truth of the matter. Maybe part of it is admitting it to yourself. Maybe some of you um, are grieving the loss of a loved one and that's why you're feeling alone in the world. You're, you're in the grief process and I don't know much about it, but I know there are steps and maybe you, if you were to just talk to a therapist, they would say, you know, they would know exactly what's happening or what you need to do or think about or write down or journal about in order to get through this phase or stage if that's what it is. So let's draw you a final message, Angel Whispers cards. What do the angels want you to know? Go within and find your inner peace. Problems resolve when you listen to your inner self, group two. Listen to your inner self. Your inner self knows the truth. Your inner self knows the truth and needs to speak the truth or at least get it out in a healthy way, all right? Thank you, group two. I wish you all the best. Bye. Hello, group three. How are you? If you chose the third card, this is your reading. So let's see what the challenge is or maybe what's going on with all of you or some of you. Addicted is the first card. Wow. And as you probably know, you can be addicted to just about anything. You can be addicted to television. You can be addicted to social media, to food, to alcohol or substances. You can be addicted to caffeine. I mean, just about anything. You can be addicted to um, working on something, you know, a project that you just can't let go of, taking your work home with you. It can be just about anything. So what does this mean for you, group three, for each of you? Think about it while I shuffle and get ready to draw another card. I have somewhat of an addictive personality, a little bit of an obsessive disorder. Not as bad as it was when I was maybe a teen, a long time ago, but I still do kind of have it and I'm aware of it now. <laughs> so um, I try to nip things in the bud when I'm getting too carried away with something or too picky or particular about something. I try to chill out about it. Maybe you're the same way. So let's see what else I can tell you with this deck. I'm going to read into the read the booklet a little bit on what the card means. So you have the proud pirate, the proud pirate. And let's see what that says in the booklet. It is number 33. You have two master numbers so far as well, group three. You have number 11 and number 33, very relevant. I'm wondering if some of you don't have a master number, life path number. Hmm, interesting. Do you know what a life path number is? You might want to look that up and see what yours is. Okay, so the proud pirate. If you are proud of who you are and everything you have learned in your life, free from shame, guilt, or judgment, what would you choose for yourself today? What would you choose for yourself today? The choices you make for yourself from a place of feeling good are going to be more loving and helpful than anything from a place of self-judgment. Be kind to yourself, okay? Be kind to yourself and forgive yourself for mistakes is the message of that card. If Especially if you have some kind of obsessive disorder or addiction. Forgive yourself when you slip, group three. And believe me, I've had to tell myself that as well. For, forgive myself when I slip. 
Nobody is perfect, right? Nobody is perfect. Nor are we supposed to be. Just do your best. Let's see what else I can tell you. So we have also for you the day boy and the night girl, balance. Yin, yang, day, night, dark, light. It's all about balance. Trying to reach a point of balance, group three. So you are possibly a little bit imbalanced right now, striving for balance, right? That is a possibility. Let's see what we get with the Moonology cards. We have for you, Waxing Moon, the energy is gaining momentum. Okay, energy is gaining momentum. What does that mean? We're gonna find out maybe with the tarot. Yeah, it's all about balance. And what comes to mind is, you know, maybe, I don't know, let's just use something silly, like being addicted to chocolate, right? Um, balance is just, you know, limiting yourself. Okay, I'm going to have two pieces of chocolate every day. I'm going to limit myself. My diet's going to be more balanced because I'm going to limit my intake of chocolate, right? Or if it's caffeine. I'm going to balance. I'm going to do what comes to mind with like coffee is I'm going to drink half coffee, half caffeinated and half decaf, right? There's a half and half balance there. All about balance. Emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. We're going to draw on that energy gaining momentum first. Let's see what that's all about. Okay, the end of a cycle. I like to see the death card in a reading like this. Slow but steady end to a cycle. So let's say you're on a binge or a bender or whatever it might be. It could be shopping, retail therapy, whatever it is. The cycle's going to end, okay? Then there will be a return, a return to balance, group three. But forgive yourself. Take it easy on yourself, all right? Because you're not alone. I swear to you, I promise you, you're not alone. So let's see what else I can tell you. And this, I'm going to go into what's going on now. And then the last few cards might be the future. Let's see what I get. Okay. Yeah, so you're keeping it secret. You're keeping this secret. You're trying to balance out. Overall, you, you do balance out. Um, you do a good job of it. You do a good job of hiding it as well with the moon here. So whatever this issue is, you're, you like to, not like to, but you choose to or you have to or feel you have to hide it, whatever it is. You know, if it's, if it's retail, shopping therapy, maybe you hide the packaging, right? Maybe you're addicted to Amazon and you hide the packaging. Okay, what else can I tell you? Let's see. Yeah balance and balance balance and balance there is a return um you are strong you are here being depicted as the queen of swords which is probably the strongest queen the most independent queen whether you're a male or female doesn't really matter and you're probably very intelligent as well so you probably are aware of the issue if there is one right and being aware of it is the first step trusting your intuition on it whoops i almost dropped a card and being enlightened on it. So I feel that for you, yeah, another card of balance. So you're going to reach a point of balance. Don't worry about that, okay? But you have to do the work. Do the research, do the work, join a group. There's options available to you, group three. Lots of options available to you. Whether it is a Facebook group for this particular issue or um, an in-person group wherever you're at, or you see a medical professional or something or a therapist there is a group for you but you do have to do research or i feel like you want to do research about it you want to learn more about it you want to know if it's common and i'm betting you it is i'm betting you it is probably there are thousands if not hundreds of thousands if not millions of people maybe with the same type of issue right 
Okay, there's Earth energy coming through really strongly. So you might be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or the Queen of Swords is Air, which is Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, and this just dropped out of the deck as I was holding it in my lap. So we have the Emperor energy too, which is another very strong card, kind of like that Queen of Swords. Um, being the master of your life and everything that you do in this lifetime on the physical plane with your family, with your friends, with your home, with your work, whatever. That's mastery in the good sense of the card. The better characteristics of the emperor would be someone who's fair, fair-minded. Yeah, be fair-minded. That's, that's a big one with all of these oh, fairness cards and balance. That's what it is. Be fair to yourself. Be fair, okay? Don't hate yourself if you slip. Be fair, be gentle, and know that you're not alone. All right, let's draw another Moonology card. What else do you need to know, Group 3? Full Moon in Cancer, a personal issue reaches resolution. Yes, there is a resolution, there is a solution for your issue. Okay, there is a solution. And you might find it yourself. You might just do the self-help self -help, self -help thing. I couldn't spit that out. You know, um, look for books online. Oop, a couple of these dropped out. Can't do that many. Let me shuffle them one more time. But that may be enough for you. I feel like you are strong and you do have willpower. Um, but if you need outside help, there are groups available. The beauty in nature can be the answer to what you seek. Reconnect today. So maybe you're addicted to technology or shopping online. And if that's the case, get outside and reconnect with nature. Definitely. Put those devices down. Turn them off. Leave them in the car and go somewhere and take a hike. All right? Get outside. Get outdoors. Nature could be a cure for you, group three. I hope this helps you in some small way. Thanks for watching. Bye.